Welcome back to watch anime recap. The sauce for this forbidden anime will be on the pinned comment below. Just keep your eyes peeled. If you don't know where to watch this anime, then Google is the way. All the submarines used in the making of this recap are licensed and operated by professionals. The story of this forbidden anime begins with Yumiko seeing her hubby Taka off. He apologizes to her for constantly going on business trips and leaving her alone. While she says it's okay, Yumiko is actually devastated by her situation as a housewife. After being married for five years to him, she's starting to feel neglected. It's even reached a point where she thinks he doesn't want to be around her at all. With Taka gone, Yumiko goes to clean his room. She accidentally finds his stash of cultured magazines under his bed. She opens one of them out of curiosity and is shocked to learn that her hubby is a max-level degenerate. To her surprise, Yumiko starts feeling the culture rising within her after realizing her hubby is a filthy otaku. She is unable to resist and walks down the lonely road of self-service. After reaching enlightenment, Yumiko immediately questions her decisions in life. She then hears the doorbell ringing, and when she answers it, she finds the boy next door, Kanzuya, who is there to deliver a notebook for Yumiko. Kanzuya finds Yumiko very attractive. Unable to resist, he drops the notebook on the floor. When Yumiko picks it up, he discovers she's in commando mode. He asks where her hubby is, and when she says she's alone, Kanzuya stops holding back and tackles her to the ground. It seems he could sense how lonely she was and now offers to treat her since he's a good neighbor. Kanzuya feels sorry for Yumiko that she has to go down the lonely road of self-service. He says he'd be more than happy to give her an extra hand whenever she needs to cleanse her loneliness. To prove that he's capable, Kanzuya gives Yumiko a taste of his tongue twister skills, and she's stunned at how entertaining it is. He then helps himself to her succulent, low-hanging fruits, which she also ends up liking. He also shows her his prized submarine, and she's greatly impressed by its size. Yumiko is enthralled by it since it's more massive than what Taka owns. She is already aware that she's slowly losing control. Then, the doorbell rings again, and their playtime gets interrupted. Yumiko rushes to answer the door and finds Kanzuya's mother outside. She's there to check if Kanzuya delivered the notebook to Yumiko. As the two talk, Kanzuya sneakily checks out Yumiko's Bermuda Triangle and decides to send his sturdy submarine to explore it. Yumiko is so surprised at what Kanzuya did that she accidentally stubs her pinky toe against the door. Concerned, Kanzuya's mother asks if she's okay. Yumiko desperately tries to keep her composure and says she's fine. When Kanzuya's mom leaves, Yumiko falls to the floor, relieved that she managed to survive that potentially embarrassing situation. Since his submarine is still full of energy, Kanzuya asks what they should do next. In a surprising turn of events, Yumiko actually says she wants to continue the exploration, but only if Kanzuya equips his submarine with the proper protective gear. The two go up to Taka's room, where Kanzuya also finds the cultured magazines scattered on the floor. He pulls out his special microphone and tests Yumiko's oratory skills by making her read the lines of the MC in the magazine. Eventually, Yumiko lets Kanzuya resume his protected exploration. She's in disbelief at his submarine's performance, especially since it easily reaches depths Taka's submarine could never even dream of reaching. It doesn't take long for the submarine to hit one of the crucial spots of her Bermuda Triangle, which immediately makes Yumiko accidentally stub her toe against the bed. Still energized, Kanzuya says he'll continue letting his submarine explore and fire his white gold-coated torpedoes in Yumiko's Bermuda Triangle until he runs out of them. Several hours of continuous exploration later, Kanzuya depletes their supply of protective submarine gear. Since he still has some energy and torpedoes left, he asks Yumiko if he can continue without them, and she says yes because she already lost control of herself. Kanzuya goes all out for his final dive, sending Yumiko into a frenzy. As her loneliness slowly drifts away, she no longer holds her true feelings back. Eventually, she notices that Kanzuya is about to fire his final set of torpedoes unprotected. She is aware that if that happens there's no turning back for her anymore. Despite all that, she goes along with it because she can no longer live without Kanzuya's submarine. When the time is right, 
Kanzuya fires all his final torpedoes, sending Yumiko gasping for air because of the intense shockwave they made in the deepest regions of her Bermuda Triangle. She has already accepted that Taka's submarine would no longer be enough for her. A few days later, Taka returns home from his business trip. Yumiko happily greets him and asks how it all went. Taka says it was hectic but fun. While he picks up their marriage photo that got knocked down when Yumiko's world got rocked, he asks why she's in such a good mood. It seems he was a little concerned that Yumiko might be angry because he always leaves her alone for his business trips. Yumiko smiles back happily and says that everything is fine. She says she's decided that instead of just waiting for him all the time, it would be better for her to find something she can have fun with too. A year has passed, and Taka is about to go on another trip. Yumiko tries to get his submarine in the mood for some exploring, but Taka immediately shuts her down. He says he can't because he must wake up early the next day for his trip. Yumiko, despite being saddened by this, has no choice but to respect Taka's request. Yumiko suddenly gets a call from Kanzuya, and she soon finds herself letting him explore the deepest regions of her Bermuda Triangle again. Kanzuya points out how Yumiko is being more enthusiastic with their game. She then says it's because Taka didn't want to play with her that night. Kanzuya gets upset because he feels that despite all his hard work for the past year, it still doesn't seem enough to keep Yumiko's mind off her Taka. As a result, Kanzuya gets even more aggressive with the exploration, making Yumiko lose control and continuously stub her toe against the side table. Eventually, Yumiko realizes it's already morning and wants to hurry back home to wake up Taka and cook breakfast for him. Kanzuya suddenly asks her out on a date, but she refuses, saying it feels wrong when Taka is working hard at his job. Kanzuya immediately calls her out for still believing Taka's lied about going on business trips. Yumiko says there's nothing she can do but believe what Taka says. Hearing this, Kanzuya asks her if she's heard about Comic Con. The next day, Kanzuya takes Yumiko on a trip to Comic Con. He tells her it's the place where filthy otakus gather every year. Kanzuya believes that Taka has been lying to Yumiko this entire time, and the business trips he keeps going on are actually trips to the convention. Kanzuya also points out that the cultured magazines Taka owns are usually bought from these conventions. Yumiko believes Kanzuya since his explanation makes perfect sense to her. Since there's a possibility that Taka is around, Kanzuya gives Yumiko a cosplay kit so she can wear it as a disguise. Yumiko goes to change and is surprised to see the costume that Kanzuya has prepared for her. It turns out to be the character in Taka's favorite cultured magazine. While she thinks she's a little too exposed with it, Yumiko still wears the costume. Yumiko feels uncomfortable with the costume, but Kanzuya loves it. The two then decide to split up to cover more ground when searching for Taka. As a gift, Kanzuya sends a reconnaissance probe into Yumiko's Bermuda Triangle before they split up. As she explores the convention, Yumiko gets mistaken as an actual cosplayer by the filthy otakus around her. They start swarming and ask if they can start taking photos of her. Yumiko agrees and removes her wedding ring as she prepares for the photo shoot. Although she initially feels uncomfortable, Yumiko starts liking the attention she's getting. It seems her inner degenerate has started rising toward the surface. Then, Yumiko starts getting nervous as the probe Kanzuya sent into her Bermuda Triangle starts experiencing heavy turbulence. As she struggles to hold back from reaching enlightenment, she suddenly realizes that the man taking photos in front of her is none other than Taka. She now finds herself confused because even though she finally caught Taka in 4K, she sees how much he's attracted to her, even if he doesn't realize it's actually her in a costume. Suddenly, Yumiko gets rocked by an intense tsunami from the probe in her Bermuda Triangle and collapses to the ground. Taka tries to help her up, but she slaps his hand away. Shortly after that, Kanzuya arrives and takes her away to the nearby toilet. Kanzuya immediately removes the probe, and Yumiko tries to clean herself up. However, after seeing her state, Kanzuya fails to hold back and sends his submarine for an emergency mission into her Bermuda Triangle. As the two slowly work their way to enlightenment, two men enter the restroom. Yumiko immediately tries to hold herself back to avoid alerting the men to their presence. 
However, to her surprise, the two men that entered were Taka and his friend. She overhears Taka saying that her cosplay was the best he has seen so far in the convention. This somehow makes her feel happy, and Kanzuya feels a shift in pressure inside her Bermuda Triangle. Realizing what's happening, Kanzuya gets even more aggressive with the exploration. Yumiko can no longer hold back, and Taka becomes aware that someone's getting explored inside the cubicle. Kanzuya also reminds Yumiko about her current situation. He tells her it's the perfect opportunity to finally reveal her true self to Taka. Kanzuya says that if she doesn't do that, he will no longer give her access to his submarine. Since she can no longer live without Kanzuya's submarine, Yumiko accepts that there's no turning back for her now. As she inches slowly toward enlightenment while Taka is on the other side of the door, Yumiko tells the truth. She confesses that she's the one behind the door and that she appreciates getting her Bermuda Triangle invaded by someone else's submarine. Then, the moment Kanzuya fires all of his white gold-coated torpedoes, he also opens the cubicle door to expose Yumiko to Taka. To her surprise, there's no one there. It turns out that Taka and his friend hurried to go outside because they wanted to respect their privacy. While Yumiko is relieved she was spared from total humiliation, Kanzuya is disappointed and says he's done. Hearing this, Yumiko panics and begs him to continue with his exploration. Kanzuya smiles as if he was expecting her to react that way in the first place. Without wasting any more time, the two continue with their deep-sea exploration. Yumiko finally declares that her Bermuda Triangle will be exclusive to Kanzuya's submarine from now on. Then, when the time is right, Yumiko reaches enlightenment as Kanzuya full sends all of his torpedoes into the deepest regions of her Bermuda Triangle. Later that night, Yumiko greets Taka when he arrives as if nothing happened. However, Taka suddenly notices she's no longer wearing their wedding ring and asks her what happened. The only thing she can do is be surprised since she has already forgotten about it. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.